God bless you, loved ones. Welcome to the Word with Chester. Let me apologize. It's been some time now, going on three weeks since we broadcast from the Word with Chester Ministries. We have done a couple of uh, programs for the Professional Truckers Association, but uh, for the Word with Chester Ministries, teaching through the Bible, it's been uh, a little time now, and I apologize to you for that. We had some things that we just had to do in uh, circumstances, some of them beyond our control, but thankfully we're back on track now. I want you to know God is so good to us and we're trying to do many things for the kingdom of God. Uh, one being taking uh, uh, our teaching uh, on the road, taking our teaching beyond uh, just what you see here. Uh, we uh, attempt to record some uh, lessons, but I don't think they were the caliber that I want to put out. The camera that we have is a good camera and it does very good for what we're doing here. But for uh, uh, traveling and uh, uh, taking the full service shots uh, when, uh, of the congregation and also me preaching, going back and forth, this is not the right camera for that. You get a lot of movement and a lot of jumping around that you would not get with the right camera. The right camera that I really want cost about fifteen hundred or more dollars, but I thank God that I, I, we are where we are. So we're going to continue to uh, to broadcast this this particular format. God put it on my heart. I want you to know that I'm not in competition, and I don't believe in uh, trivial games and things of that nature. Especially mixing them up with the kingdom of God and uh, and God's church. I don't think God is pleased with those things in His church. I'm just going to tell you like it is. Are you trying to bring a world system into the church and and uh, expect God to bless you? Well, if you expect your blessings from that entity, that's where you need to get them from. But I trust the true and the living God, and I don't have to be mixed up in a system or a game to receive the blessings of God. And I want you to know God told me to do this, and, and I am going to obey God. Yes, I do a lot of things, uh, but yet I know God. I heard the voice of God when he told me to teach through this Bible verse by verse and chapter by chapter. And I, for one, would rather obey God rather than man or anyone else. Uh, I, I have to put what he has for me or he has told me to do before I do anything. Well, God is wonderful, people, and uh, uh, we have already read one chapter in the book of Deuteronomy, went completely through that chapter. If you want to roll through our, our archives and, and listen to that chapter, it may do you good. I uh, started to reteach it. <clears throat> Uh, from the beginning uh, because we had uh, uh, such a broad lapse there. But thank God uh, I'm getting back on track today. And I, as I said, I have to obey God. I'm not in a game, not trying to beat anyone to do to do anything. I, I don't have to beat you to do anything. My only enemy is the devil. I want to see God bless you uh, just like he blesses me. So I ask that you pray for me and pray for this ministry. <clears throat> we have enclosed the donation button. If you would like to help us, uh, 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 that means is there for you. And I want you to know we could use the help. Help in buying all the things that we need. Uh, we are looking into buying a tent even to uh, take this ministry out and uh, uh, take the ministry that God have us have for us when we get all of the uh, equipment that we need. We have the sound equipment already, uh, but now uh, we are working on the other things so we can uh, take this ministry across this great country of ours and, and preach and teach the word of God to as many people who will listen and let you see the move of God. What you see here is only part of what God does. Uh, God has anointed me to and blessed me to be somewhat of an evangelist. And, and uh, when I go, people are blessed, people are healed, people are delivered, and people get saved uh, uh, everywhere I go. So I ask that you pray for me that God will give me the strength to carry out the commission that he has given me. Well, today we will read a few verses. I know that was a long entrance, but I felt like putting my heart out there to you today, and I trust that you will hear me. Uh, believe me, babies, we're not in competition together. Uh, we're all trying to do a work for God, and I want you to pray for me as I pray for you that God gets us to where he would have us go. 
Well, in uh, chapter uh, 2 of the book of Deuteronomy, uh, we will begin our reading today at verse 1, and I trust that you will read along with me uh, as we study the word of God. The Bible reads, Then we turned and, and took our journey into the wilderness by the way of the Red Sea, as the Lord spoke unto me, uh, and we compassed Mount Seir many days. And the Lord spoke unto me, saying, Now remember, Remember, God spoke unto me. Now, we, we're still uh, hearing and uh, reading uh, the words that Moses penned. So you got to understand, we're getting close now. Uh, 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 and uh, when we go into the Deut uh, book of Deuteronomy, many things will be rewrote or, or, or just a reminisce, uh, reminiscence of all of the things that we've already read. But yet in, intermingled in all of this, uh, they will be fresh and new stuff. So you need to stay with us as we study it. Now the Lord spoke unto me saying, Moses again, again now they're wandering and further, uh, there were further conflicts in the wilderness, but the Lord spoke unto me saying, says Moses, uh, ye have compassed this mountain long enough, uh, turn uh, turn you northward. Uh, we have compassed this mountain long enough. And, and I'm going to tell you like it is. Sometimes uh, uh, you can go round and round in the same circle and seem like you're going nowhere. And sometimes the Lord will have to get your attention and just say, hey, look, uh, stop now. Uh, you compassed this mountain long enough or you've been in this situation long enough. Turn and go northward. Uh, and this is what the Lord <coughs> commanded Moses uh, uh, to command the children of Israel. Real, and command you the people, saying, Ye are, are to pass through the borders of your brethren, the children of Esau, who dwell in Sierra, and they shall be afraid of you. Take ye good heed unto yourself, therefore. In other words, God told them to turn and go northward. They passed the mountain long enough. Now you're going into the land of your brethren, your brethren Esau. You have to understand. God had given Esau a possession as well. And God does not give somebody something to take it away. That's the way the devil does. He'll give you something and then take it away. Take you up 10 feet and then knock you back 12. You got to understand, God, when he gives you something, he gives it to you. And you it's yours to keep because God gave it to you. Now, uh, he, he's letting them know you're going to east, uh, uh, into the land that he gave his brother, Esau. Uh, if you're familiar with the story, uh, Jacob and Esau were twin brothers, and and uh, in uh, in being twin brothers, they had their sibling rivalry going on for years. And uh, Jacob at that time was a supplanter, and and so many things happened in that time. At that time, but you also have to understand that that uh, Esau he had a possession as well, uh, and we talk about Esau and so forth. And uh, but uh, we a lot of time uh, we don't talk about what Jacob did. Well, we. Want I want you to know uh, when Jacob was wrong, Jacob was wrong. Uh, and that's the way it is with you and I. When you're wrong, you're wrong. When I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Uh, uh, but yet God is able to turn us around and get us back on the right road and send us and have us do what he would have us uh, uh, to accomplish. Uh, now, uh, take heed to yourself, therefore. Verse 5 reads, meddle not with them. In other words, don't go in their land. You're going in their land. Uh, don't meddle with them. You're not going in there to conquer them. Uh, yes, God blessed you to conquer many other people, but you're not going into the land of Esau to conquer them. Uh, why? Because God gave them that lesson. Uh, and you need to get that picture. God loves more than you. Uh, you got to get that in your, in, your, in your mind and in your spirit. Uh, even if it seems like God is using you, you're not the only one that God loves. And you're not the only one that God gave a possession. And he didn't give them their possession for you to go in there and mess with it. So he's letting them know, meddle not with them, for I will not give you of their land. No, not so much as a foot breadth, because I have given Mount Seir unto Esau for a possession. In other words, God saying, I give this to Esau for a possession. You can't go in there and get one square foot of it. You cannot have one little bit of it. You go in there and behave yourself. Now let's go on and read in verse 6. Ye shall buy food 
of them for money uh, that ye may eat, and ye shall buy water of them for money uh, that ye may drink. Uh, for the Lord thy God hath blessed thee in all the works of thine hands, uh, and knoweth uh, uh, thy walking through the great wilderness uh, these forty years, uh, and the Lord thy God hath been with thee, uh, thou hast lacked nothing. Uh, he's letting the children of Israel know uh, that God has blessed you, you've lacked nothing. Uh, uh, you've gotten to eat all the time, you got to eat every day, and you had water, uh, even if God had to bring it forth out of, out of a rock. Uh, Moses is recapping here the forty years uh, of their travel. Uh, I'll read seven again. For the for the Lord God hath blessed thee in all the works of thine hand. He knoweth thy walking through the great wilderness these forty years. The Lord thy God has been with thee. Thou hast lacked nothing. Now, in verse eight, and and when uh, he passed by uh, from our brethren, the children of Esau. Uh, I'll read it again, verse 8. And when we passed by from our brethren, the children of Esau, who dwelt in Seir, uh, through the way of uh, uh, Arabah, uh, from Elath, and from uh, Aziangabar, uh, we turned and passed by the way of the wilderness of Moab. Uh, well, I'm going to continue reading. And the Lord said unto me, uh, Distress not the Moabites, uh, neither contend with them uh, in battle, for, uh, for I will not give thee uh, of their land for a possession, uh, because I have given our unto the children of Lot for a possession. Uh, remember all of these names now. Uh, remember all these names from when we have been reading. Lot was the uh, uh, nephew of, uh, of Abraham, uh, and he followed Abraham. He went with Abraham when Abraham left his kindreds at the command of the Lord. And I won't go in through the whole story. You remember the stories of Sodom and Gomorrah and all the things that happened then. And then Lot went one way, and Abraham went another. Uh, and uh, I won't go uh, into the fullness of, but you remember Lot had two daughters. They got him drunk and went in and conceived children of him. Uh, and uh, out of this nation, uh, well, you got to understand, Lot was a kindred of those, a kinfolk, but Lot, God had given them a possession of land as well. And uh, the children of Israel were commanded uh, not to go in and take their land as well. Shall I read 9 and 10 again? <coughs> The Bible reads, uh, And the Lord said unto me, Distress not the Moabites, neither command, contend with them in battle, uh, for I will not give thee of their land for a possession, uh, because I have given our to the children of Lot for a possession. Uh, anytime God says, I've given it to them, uh, I don't care if you don't like them. Uh, you need to leave it alone. Why? Because God... Uh, gave it to them. Uh, anything God grants, God gives it. And God is not uh, a one who will take back on what he gives to anyone. Uh, sometimes we don't like people, but that doesn't mean God has just totally abandoned them and forsaken them. Verse 10 reads, uh, and and uh, the Eman dwelt there in times past, uh, a people great and many uh, uh, and tall uh, as the Anakim, uh, verse 11, uh, who, who also were counted giants as the Anakim, Anakim uh, but the Moabites called them Eman, uh, Eman. Now I'll read one more verse today. Uh, uh, the Horites uh, also dwelled in Sierra formerly, uh, but the children of Esau succeeded them uh, when they had destroyed them from, from before them uh, and dwelt in their stead, uh, and Israel did unto the land of his possession. Uh, uh, as Israel did unto the land of his possession, uh, which the Lord uh, gave unto him. Uh, well, get the picture now. Uh, God is letting them know, we're going to take you through this land, but this land is not yours. Uh, now, just like you went in other places and, and took their land uh, and subdued them, uh, these people you don't leave alone. Uh, well, even if you might be stronger than they are, uh, if God commands you to leave them alone, you better leave them alone. Uh, and that's what God was was saying to the children of Israel through Moses, uh, you're going into this land. Uh, yes, they may be afraid of you, uh, but you do not hurt them. Uh, you don't go in there to take anything. Uh, you go in there, you buy your 
your food uh, that you need to eat and you buy the, the water that you need to drink. Uh, but as far as you subdue in this land, you shall not. Uh, that's the reason it's important for us to always obey God. Uh, when you obey God, you will always be all right. Uh, I'm going to uh, uh, continue this study in our next session. I encourage you to be here. God is so good and I'm glad to be teaching in this method again. I encourage you to be with us each time we're teaching through this Bible verse by verse and chapter by chapter. If you stay with us, you will have read completely through this Bible and God will bless you. Remember, my friends, you can contact me at the Word with Chester Ministries, Post Office Box 200-603, San Antonio, Texas, 78220. Anywhere on the World Wide Web you hear me, you can contact me from that format, whether that be Facebook, Twitter, Google uh, or YouTube, you can contact me. Uh, remember, I love you, my friend.